Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Janelle and today's video will be a shot my stash. I'll go over all the makeup that I used last week and I'll let you guys know what I thought of it. And I will include some pictures of all the makeup looks that I've done. Um, if you do hear noise in the background, my window is open. The kids, My kids are playing in the front yard. My brother is using my shower um, because the other bathroom in our home um, is under construction. So if you do hear music it's coming from his phone or if you hear any background noise it's just him using my shower that's in my bedroom so i do apologize about all the noise i hope you guys don't mind um but let's just go over everything so i haven't touched my tower 28 um bronzer you know that i'm going to use as a highlighter so i'll leave that in and then we'll go over the other stuff i'm really loving this dior highlight uh highlighting quad so i'm gonna keep using that um this mac blush was so beautiful so natural effortless when you don't know what to wear you want a little something more than bronzer but not like too much blush like this is the perfect color so humor me by mac is going back into my collection um the other thing that's going back into my collection is the pat mcgrath bridgerton highlighter um it's just not my absolute 100 percent favorite to be honest, but I'm glad I did get a little bit of use on it, and I will continue to reach for my Dior quad. I really like this blush and the formula. I think I'm going to pull the other color today. This is the Man Eater um, Blush and Glow Cheek Pumping Blush, and this is in Deep Buff. I know they have the satin formula that I'm a little bit curious about, but I'm going to use what I have in my collection. And then I also did use uh, Cheeky, which I always use with the sponge by Merit. Um, but I did use this with a brush the other day and it was super pigmented that way. So I think I'll use it like that again in the future. It was kind of nice and different. So um, I did use the NYX Plump Right Back Up Serum. Um, what is it? Oh, Pumping Serum Primer. And I did like this, but it's getting warmer these days. So I think I'm going to bring out my mat uh, my mattifying primer. I think I'm ready to put back the Chanel um, blush. I did have to kind of scrape at it because it did get a hard pan. But when I scraped at it, it just became like uber pigmented. So, yeah. I'll just have to use it more lightly next time. I really did love this rose ink blush. I used it several times in combination with different blushes. So this is what the inside of this one looks like. It's a beautiful peachy shade. I'm glad that I was able to get a little bit of use on that one. And um, I also got some use on my short strawberry one, which I loved using with a stippling brush. This is what the inside of this one looks like. Super beautiful. Glad I got use on this one. So we're gonna make our rounds um, and use some different types of blushes this go around. Um, I did use my Chanel Le Beige. I'm gonna leave this one in, see if I can get more use on it. It is in a project pan, but I really like the outcome of that one. I've been obsessed with this Hello Kitty um, lip oil. It's in the shade Peach. So yeah, it's just the most perfect nude. I've been loving it with every lip combination that I've been doing. Um, I need to get use on 400, so we're gonna leave that one in by Dior. Um, I really like this one, kind of as like a lipstick, as like to lighten up the look in the center. So yeah, I'm glad I kind of picked this up. And then I did get some use on this YSL, which I think they're discontinuing the line. It looks a little different now, has a new name. I think there's different shades. So I'm glad I got use on this lipstick and it's in the shade 150. And I'm really obsessed with this lip oil right here. It's so nice. This is the uh, Too Faced kissing jelly gloss and then this one's in the shade bubblegum i'm also using these right here these don't really have the mega shine and sparkle like the other one does i think i'm gonna leave all three to keep testing further and then i did use this uh, dior lipstick a little bit i've been um focusing on my project pan gucci lipstick a little bit more but i'll put this one back and i will probably come back to it in the future and Today I used my Charlotte Tilbury one in the shade Foxy Brown. This one's really, really nice and long glassy. I'm going to leave this one in a little bit longer to keep using. And um, I did use all three of the NYX ones. 
and you can not you can never go wrong with NYX. They're so good. Um, I I enjoyed all of them. I would say brown and espresso are my favorite. But if you're going for like a softer look, the Los Angeles shade is really nice. But I loved all three of these. I think I'm gonna put um I'll leave brown in and put the other two back just so I can get use on these lip products. And we'll pull some more lip products as well. And then Makeup by Mario. This is just a soft, effortless, beautiful, not too much type of bronzer. I want to pick this up in a deeper shade in the summertime because it's that good. Keeping in. And I think, let's see. This concealer here I was testing out by Hourglass. So, so good. So high coverage, creamy, pigmented. It doesn't really crease or go anywhere. It really brightens up. I really love this. Um, I'm going to keep this one in along with the other concealers that I have in. And um, this eyeshadow palette can go back to shot today. I really uh, enjoyed using this. I put a good dent in the shades here. And then I have another palette that I'm using. That I, I'm done using the shades, but I'm going to keep in my rotation. Here's what the Char Charlotte Darling palette looks like. I put a real big dent in this one hoping to hit pan eventually i'm gonna put this one back in my collection and then we did use the stone and rock palette by odin's eye and then i've been using this one in my brows um i'll probably keep it but like in another drawer just so i don't take up too much space but yeah i did get use on some of these other shades which was very nice i've been testing out the polite society more than a pretty face skin caring foundation so this one's definitely going to stay in um, well, I'm bringing it in is what I'm trying to say. Here's some more makeup that I've been testing off camera. We have the uh, Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Light Concealer and the Panorama Mascara by L'Oreal. I'm going to test these a little further so these will be in the rotation. I want to test out this Makeup Forever HD Skin Setting Powder. This is in the shade Oh, for uh, corrective banana. So we'll try out this powder. Next up, I want to pull the Too Faced Born This Way Healthy Glow Moisturizing Skin Tint. I have mine in the shade Light Beige. Here this is. It's all separated, so that kind of scares me. I'm just going to shake it back in place. Okay, it looks good again. <laughs> so I'm going to test that out this week. I have two lip products I want to throw in. We're going to throw in the Summer Fridays Lip Balm as well as this Lawless Forget the Lip Filler. Um, this is in the shade Milkshake, and then I got this Summer Fridays one in the Birthday Cake Edition or whatever it's called. This is what these look like, and I do have swatches up on the um, haul video that I hauled these in. Mess, my daughter comes in here, and comes in here and grabs whatever she wants all the time. So I'm looking for my mat. Here it is. Primer. This is the Essence Poreless uh, Partner Primer, Mattified and Blurring. We're gonna use this bad boy, and hopefully our makeup will stay on our face. I definitely know my daughter's been in here. This drawer is also a big mess. I did want to pull out this guy right here. I did want to pull out this guy right here by Tarte, and it's in the shade Strawberry. And then I also want to pull out a neutral shade. For our neutral shade, I think I'll pick this Tower 28 one. And this is in Beach Please. Um, should I pick one more? You know, I think this will be good enough. Here we are in our powder drawer. These are, I think, chopping block ones. No, are these the chopping block ones? Yeah, I'll take Lawless. And I guess Dior. Yeah. And I think once we get through these, I'll put some different blushes in. So I'll show you what these guys look like in a sec. Okay, I'm freaking out because I don't see my Glossier bronzer. I'm going to have to ask my daughter if she took it from here, but yeah i'm gonna pull that bronzer this week if i find it okay so we are in the lip drawer i'm sorry this video is all over the place um i want to pull out this guy by cali ray this is such a good lip gloss and hmm okay we don't use this one very often let's pull this guy um it's essence disney lion king i think that'll be uh, maybe one lipstick. We don't pull lipstick enough. Mm. Let's pull out 
pull out this baby by Huda Beauty. And it's in the shade Interview. Here's what the inside of these blushes look like. Next up we have our cream blush right here by Tarte, by Tarte 28. We have the blush by Lawless and the blush by Dior. Then down here we have the lipstick by Huda Beauty, the lipstick by, I'm sorry, the lip gloss by Essence. And lastly on top there is the lip gloss by Kali Ray. So I'm super excited for these neutrals with a, like a pop of color. Just like, I don't know, I feel like it's going to be a good week. Lastly, for eyeshadow, I'm going to use this Bridgerton and Pat McGrath palette. This is what the inside of the palette looks like. Super gorgeous. So I think it'll be like nice. Um, some of these colors kind of complement the blushes that we picked out. So yeah, this looks like it's going to be a fun palette. And like, I'm super excited to be using some old and new goodies. So let me know what you guys are pulling for your stuff, my stash. Are you using what you already own? Have you been making some new purchases? What types of colors and finishes are you using? So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you do like shop my stash videos. I do these every single week here on my channel. So take care and I hope to see you guys very, very soon. Bye.